The earliest mammal-like reptiles, called pelicosaurs, ruled the Earth for about 40 million years and gave rise to the therapsids, one step closer to mammals. Therapsids are the direct ancestor of mammals. But before we say goodbye to reptiles, let's pause and look down their temporal highway. Their descendants include crocodilians, the dinosaurs, and the birds. Back to our own road, mammals are directly ahead. It is now 220 million years ago, and the cynodonts have arrived on the scene. They have nearly all the features of mammals. Most early mammals were small and shrew-like animals that fed on insects. It is likely they had a constant body temperature, milk glands for their young, and the beginnings of a neocortex region of the brain. But this is also the era of the first dinosaur. So our ancestors will have to wait their turn to rule. 125 million years ago, two new developments paralleled each other. Marsupials and Eutheria. Marsupials would give rise to kangaroos and their cousins. But our line lies with Eutheria, which have a placenta. The earliest Eutheria resemble a small mouse. 90 million years ago, we part lines with elephants and manatees. 85 million years ago, so long to horses, dogs, and cats. 75 million years ago, we part ways with mice and rodents. Primates are directly ahead. It is 65 million years ago, and the dinosaurs just died. And a small animal that looked like a cross between a squirrel and a monkey becomes the ancestor of all primates. After a few million years, old world monkeys are clearly recognizable, and they have had a good run ever since. 25 million years ago, the first of the lesser apes appeared 